Hello guys, this is Rhythman, and I am showcasing my bindings. I just came up with a new binding set, which I think works really well. So let me show you what it looks like. Uh, the launcher uh, its not really important, I just kept that at default. Uh, as far as the game bindings go, uh, I'm still using the left trigger to slide and jump, and I'll show you how that works. Um, I'm using the right trigger to fire weapons. I used simple threshold before I had uh, hair trigger, but simple actually works a little better. Uh, it's a little more responsive that way. Um, and I put the intensity for the haptic feedback on low because I didn't feel like I needed all that much uh, feedback there. Uh, voice chat select, that's completely up to you what you want to do, but that's what I use for voice chat. Um, and then now the left grip is used for aiming that's on the back of the controller mm -hmm. the right grip I haven't set to anything mm -hmm. but as you can see here I'm using that to enable my gyro so that my gyro isn't just on all the time it's only on when I want it to be mm -hmm. when I'm specifically when I'm aiming at enemies uh, the mouse the right pad works as the mouse as usual if I double click that's going to be secondary fire mm -hmm. if I just hold that'll be a milli uh, real quick um, or you can press the B button to use melee like you normally would. And I kept the X, the A, B, X, Y normal, um, but I don't use these buttons that often. The most important buttons are going to be on the shoulder and on the grip. Uh, melee is almost exactly the same. It's just that instead of aiming, the left grip will be block, and instead of firing, the right trigger would be channel. But everything else is pretty much the same. All right, so. Um, Let's see, uh, just showcase how this works. Use an enemy that isn't too terribly difficult. Uh, bring them up to level. I say level 45. It's good. I know there are a lot of stronger enemies out there, but this is just so you can see how it works. So, as you can see, I'm using the touchpad. I'm going to select my shield breaker. Oh, I used the Xmas ones. Well, that's not what I was expecting, but... That's actually perfect. So that was pretty responsive, and uh, those enemies were harder when I, than I was expecting them to be. So uh, instead of using the Xmas, let's use just a regular one this time.
Oh, there you are. Ah, I was wondering where he was. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that lag. For some reason, I'm lagging. But, as you can see, compared to maybe a controller, I don't know how good you are for controller, but I could turn and aim a lot quicker than I normally would. Let's try something a little bit harder. So as you can see, I'm using the mouse right now, the right pad to look around, but when I see an enemy, I switch to uh, gyro mode and just aim my controller at them. So like right now, I'm just using the track pad. Let me give me some uh, heavy gunners there. They're, they're kind of tough. I'll use five of those. Uh, I'm only using a pistol, so that's why I'm not doing like level 70, 80 stuff. But basically, right now I look around. When I see enemies, I switch and. If you aim for the head, you do a lot more damage. But yeah, that's basically it. So, it actually works well. I can slide around, parkour. Dodge. Bullet jump. Really easy. Slide. Yes, yeah, like all this stuff. So not only is it good for aiming, but you know, I can do all this stuff too. So, um, yeah, I couldn't resist doing that. But basically, the key is all the important buttons are on the grip or on the trigger. Um, everything that's not that important like reloading I could just press X for that and, and, and technically let's do that if I wanted to keep looking while I reload I could engage the gyro and then press X um, same thing for if I want to switch while looking okay I, I could do that you know so if I have to absolutely have to I can but I don't normally oh, oh that was silly I don't have to uh, do it that way. But that's pretty much it. Anyway, thanks for looking. If you want to use this control scheme, this control scheme, you can find it in the Steam community templates. You can modify it as you want. Maybe you want to move some things around or you could just keep it the way it is it does take a little practice you're not going to be pro right at you know right off the bat but uh, you know with some practice it's actually really easy and it might look kind of jittery but that's because of uh, I turned smoothing off 
you want it to be smoother, you can put smoothing back on for your gyro. But I just feel like, for some strange reason, it's a little more accurate when I don't put smoothing on. But anyway, that's it. Like, subscribe, check out my bindings, use it, improve it, comment, and let me know what changes you think I should make.